in this video, we were looking at how can we use Excel to include the interaction to the model, regression model. However, before we start, we still need to look at why we need to have interaction. So look at question number two. So the second worksheet, Q2, shows the data for the 92 college students' pulse rate, gender, and height. An experiment team proposed that the gender and the student height may be the main factors to affect the pulse rate difference for each student. However, when the impact of the independent variable changes with the value of another independent variable, we see we have interaction. So the question here is, does the, uh, in this problem, do you think the gender and the height might have some interaction? Which means, do you think the gender will changing, uh, when the gender change, or will have the impact on the value of the height? So based on intuition, you probably think, oh, Maybe the man usually relatively taller than a girl. It seems like uh, the, uh, the gender should play a role in deciding people's height. So you have this kind of idea, gender and height might have interaction. So it might be a good idea to include the interaction term to your model. So let's look at our data. So the first column is pulse rate. This is my y variable. Gender is my x1, height is my x2. As I mentioned, uh, gender and height might have the uh, may have the interaction, so we can consider to add the interaction term gender multiplied by height into my model. So when we estimate the model, the model will be equal to y hat equal to um, b0 plus b1 multiplied by gender plus b2 multiplied by height and plus b3. This is the co partial coefficient called my interaction term, gender multiplied by height. So which means in the model we're trying to estimate is the uh, uh, three, uh, four betas, uh, b0, b1, b2, and b3. We need to estimate all three. So uh, all four, however, look at here. We have gender, height, but we don't have the observation for gender multiplied by height, which is my interaction. So in order to get the value or for the interaction term, so based on we how we define the interaction term, we will use the observation from gender multiplied by the observation from height. So for instance, in the D2 cell, we type in equal sign, choose B2, and multiply by C2. So by doing this, we will have the first observation for my interaction term. So that's 68. So we will do the same thing we can use in the uh, drop down function from Excel, or you can move your mouse to the right down corner and uh, left double click the mouse. Left double click the mouse. So the Excel will automatically, automatically fill in all the, the rest of the cells. So we have Y, X1, X2, and interaction. So we're going to run the regression model. So we choose data, data analysis, and find the regression and click OK. So first, my Y range is my A column, so from A1 to A93. And my X range, I have three predictors, gender, height, and interaction term. So the X range will have three columns. So select this little icon. So we select B and 2D column. And then let's place our result in a new worksheet called Q2. Answer on all red and I check all five box and then click OK. So then let me keep two decimal places for my result. So if we are looking at the, the output, so we check the significance of my interaction term. But actually, by adding this interaction, to, uh, interaction term, it will not really help us to improve the part of the model. It is not significant. So if you check the adjusted R square, actually you're gonna find it's not a big change as well. So which means through intuition, gender and height and interaction is not work in this is not working in this case. So you might just run the regression model uh, without the interaction term. But this will be a good uh, practice on why and how to add an interaction term to your regression model.